Hey everyone, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated, and today I just wanted to make a quick video on how to wipe a locked T2 MacBook by booting it into DFU mode. Yes, it can be done. But first, why would you want to do this? Well, let's say you're a recycler or a refurbisher, and you receive a donated 2018 Pro that the previous owner or company failed to properly log out, as they tend to do with laptops in general. The thing is, with these T2 machines, unlike previous MacBooks, you can't just boot them to an external drive to wipe them, or go into a recovery mode and wipe them that way. As you can see here in the startup security utility of a T2 machine, which you can access in recovery mode, the default setting is to disallow booting from external drives. You have to change the option to do that. And since T2 Macs have no removable drive, just chips on the board, you can't even use the tried and true option of removing and wiping the drive. So if you can't figure out how to wipe the embedded drive, you're stuck. I thought I was stuck at first, but then I found this method. It turns out that T2 OS upgrades sometimes get corrupted and leave the machine in an unresponsive state. So Apple released this document showing how to boot the machine into DFU mode in order to wipe it and restore functionality. What they don't tell you is that this method can be used to wipe a working machine and that it also erases user accounts and firmware passwords, which is great news. As long as the machine is not activation locked, this method will completely restore a password or firmware locked machine to full usability. It will also allow you to wipe an activation locked machine. However, it won't complete the restore without a password, so you'll end up with a blank drive and a laptop that is basically bricked. So here's how it works. Uh, first, I'll just say use this document here instead of listening to me. It's much better than anything I could produce and it includes a lot more detail. So I'll post a link to this in the notes. So first, you need a second machine with USB-C ports, so something 2016 or newer. You also need to download and install the Apple Configurator 2 utility. It's free at the App Store. Next, you need a spare USB-C cable so that you can connect the two machines together. You can use any port on the second machine, but on the locked machine, the cable must be plugged into the port on the left side and closest to you. Next, you need to boot the locked machine into DFU mode. With Configurator 2 running on the second machine and the locked machine off, hold down the power button for one second, and then while continuing to hold down the power button, also hold down left control, left option, and right shift at the same time. Hold these four keys for eight seconds and then release all of them at once. You won't see any response on the locked machine, but on Configurator 2, you should see this screen change into a big DFU icon. I found that getting into DFU mode is a little tricky and it may take a few tries. But once you're there, it's pretty simple. Pull down the Actions menu, choose Restore, and that's basically it. You'll see a progress bar as it works through the steps, and then for five or ten minutes it appears to be almost done with no indication of further progress. It's tempting to think something is wrong and reset it, but don't because you don't want to corrupt the machine. After a while, the second machine will generally give you an error. It's quite a buggy process, and I haven't seen it ever announce that it's been successful, but it always seems right around this point that the locked machine wakes up, prompts you to log into the internet, after which it reinstalls the OS. Uh, be patient, because it can take an hour or so to pull down the OS from the internet. It's doing an internet restore, uh, but once it's done, you'll have a fully recovered machine. Just make sure to remember the password you set so that you don't have to do the whole thing all over again. And also remember, like I said, if the machine is activation locked, it will wipe, but it won't reinstall the OS unless you know the password. So that's basically it, but there's another method for those who are interested. The secure enterprise disk wiping tool Blanco has announced that their software can also handle T2 machines, and it can similarly bypass password and firmware security in order to do a secure wipe. What's really cool about this software is that it also provides proof of the machine having been wiped, and it also does diagnostics and asset profiling, so it's a pretty robust tool compared to the DFU method. Blanco is probably most useful for larger recyclers and refurbishers that are required to securely wipe all drives and provide documentation. So if you have that kind of business, this is definitely for you. I haven't tried it myself yet, but I hope to soon. So in closing, I've got to stress the importance of this information getting out to recyclers and refurbishers. Because T2 machines don't have removable drives to pull, T2s are going to get scrapped if those processing them aren't aware of a clear and easy method for wiping the drives. Enough perfectly good Macs are scrapped already, and the additional challenges T2 MacBooks present will only make the problem far worse if we don't do something about it. 
This is why we need to support right to repair and demand respect for our property rights. We have the right to repair, modify, use, and sell devices that we own, and companies like Apple can't take that away from us, hard as they try. Apple should be pressured to release the tools and information necessary for its devices to be refurbished. It needs to fix the bad designs and bad policies that result in so many machines being locked and ultimately scrapped.